In the video today, you will learn how to create a collection of books or videos that can be then assigned to your students. So I am currently logged in to the teacher account and um, you would need to be logged in as a teacher as well, not, a, not as a student. And I'm on the browse page, but in order to do a search, a specific um, word search, we're going to click on the search magnifying glass on the toolbar at the top and you will type in the keyword. So for today, I'm going to use the word farm. We're going to be looking for books about the farm. And remember that as soon as you initiate your search, you do have several different categories. It is always going to default to all. And then if you're looking for a specific type of book, then you can change your categories that run across the top here. So right now it is defaulting to all, and as you can see, there already are collections created by other people. For today's example, I'm not going to go that route. So I'm actually going to just click over to books so we can see what is there. So as soon as you click over to books, you'll see the individual books that are relating to the topic that we searched, which was farm. And I am actually only looking for read to me books at the, um, at this time because I do want to assign this to some younger students who are not yet reading on their own. So we want to have the Read to Me books so they can sit and just uh, listen in a listening center. So when I do change to Read to Me, you're going to see all of the books that may or may not be exactly what you're looking for relating to the farm. But here we have, we're going to the farm and we have a couple of other things about certain animals that we uh, would find on a farm. And so let's say that I do want to include this in my collection. When I see a book in the search, all I have to do is go over to the far right hand side. You'll see a heart with a plus that says add to. When you select that, you will see that you can add it to your teacher favorites or you can create a collection. And that is what we are going to do today. We're going to click on collection. And I am making a brand new collection. So I'm going to choose create a new collection. It will ask me to name it. And I am going to include some books here in Spanish. So I am going to also include the word granja as well. You do not need to have a description for your collection. And if you feel that your collection is not complete in any way, you do not have to share it with the Epic community. community. So you can uncheck that box. Once we click on create, you'll get a little notification at the bottom saying your collection was created and that book is now part of that collection. So let's say that I want to start including some of these that are about the farm animals. So I'm going to get uh, going again to the far right hand side next to the book that I want to include and I will choose collection and this time I already have that collection in my list so I just have to check off that that is where I want it to go. So I click on add and it shows that sheep was added to that collection so I can continue to go ahead and do that. And let me see, let me find a couple of more. Let me add this one as well. And then for now, I'm done with the books in English. And so I'm going to move on and search for books in Spanish. And even though it says no result, results found, it did pull up results. The only thing you do need to remember whenever you are doing a search for something in Spanish, you want to make sure that when you type in the word, you include any accents, tildes, things like that. Otherwise, it may show that nothing is available. So here are my three books that are in Spanish that I do want to include in my collection as well. So again, I just go over to that add to, choose collection, check off where I want it to go. And this may come up, you don't have to share your collection, you can just click on the X and continue with your process of adding different items to your collection. Now the other thing is there may be videos 
I can tell you right now for Spanish, you're not going to find anything. But let's see if there is a video about the farm. So we have, again, specific videos about some of the animals on the farm. How to make a farm. Maybe their most important, uh, most appropriate videos would be the ones that are right here. I'm a cow, I'm a chicken, I'm a donkey. We'll go ahead and include those in our collection. So your collection does not need to be just books. Your collection can also include videos as well. So once you have your collection created and you have it pretty much complete, it doesn't have to be complete, you can always go in and add more to it later, you do want to go into your library to find your collection. Whenever you've created a collection, it will always be housed in your library. And as soon as you go in, you do have three tabs that go across the top. Your collections, your favorites, and the most recent books that you as the teacher have opened up. And it will list your collections in the most recently created all the way to the oldest created. And you'll see when we view the collection here, one of the options is to assign. So when I go to assign, I can choose to give it to all of my students. And if I've already gone into my teacher dashboard, if I have any different um, student groups that I've created, I can choose to assign it to a specific group of students. For this example, we are just going to do all students and it'll pull up all of the students in my class and then I will choose select all. It will check off every single one and it will assign that set of books to the students. So when the student goes in, I'm going to switch over to my student profile. So remember this is the login screen that the students will see. When they go into their account, they will go up to their mailbox and they will see a little notification. And the very uh, most recent shared collection will be at the top of their list. And all the students have to do is open it up and they can get started viewing any of the books or the videos in any order that they choose. As they complete their collection, their progress bar will start to light up and once it's done, you will actually receive a notification that your student has completed their collection.